Welcome to another Five with Father. Actually, today is a special edition Five with Father. We have 20 things to go over, and yeah. And uh, we have a special guest with us, uh, Bernie Lehman, and she is one of the people who are, who facilitates the bereavement ministry. The reason why she's here is because they have chosen to do bereavement on Tuesday instead of Monday. Because Monday is Labor Day and the offices are closed and there are no activities here at our parish. Uh, we will have nine o'clock mass and the transfer of Monday to Tuesday with bereavement uh, is something that we need to do because bereavement ministry is vital. So what do you do in bereavement ministry? Bereavement ministry started 20 years ago and what we do is help people to come through the death of a loved one. It could be a husband, a wife, a child, um, a significant other. Um, and what we do is gather and talk with each other about the various problems that we're having. We normally have it on a Monday night, but due to the holiday, we're having it on Tuesday because we have found that so many people want to be able to know that we are there for them. And so we'll move it to Tuesday for them. So how many people do you have in bereavement ministry now? Well, as far as the ministers, there's three of us. And as far as people coming, it can be anywhere from eight people to up to 21 people. Wow. Uh, that's a, a large group, a very loving, caring group of people. They will share their stories with each other. They will, I always tell people, we're going to cry, but we're going to laugh because life is laughter also. Mm -hmm. And then we'll cry. We pass around the, the Kleenex and it's amazing how people will be able to tell each other's story and they seem to get something good out of that. Mm -hmm. They can relate to that. So mm -hmm. it's great ministry. I've done it for 17 years now. So we thank you for what you do. And thank you. The rest of the ministers there yes and um if somebody wanted to start coming what would they do they should call the office or they should call me 440-724-0506 and we will tell them when the next meeting is and please it is just one foot in front of the other get out of your car come in sometimes that's the hardest thing to do we've had people who sit in the car for a half hour and then finally get the courage to come in and they're amazed at um, the other people that are in the same boat as them well Barney thank you for being a part of eight with father and um, we'll try and edit out as little as we could can with your <laughs> <laughs> We're checked off one. Right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, thank you very much for being with us. Of course. Okay. So some of the other things going on. I just joke with Bernie because she's fun to joke around with. So some of the other things going on here in our parish. Soul Corps begins September 6th, 7.45 in the morning, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, they're going to have a special event out at Trilogy um, exercise or prayer by the pool. And you can check the website out for more information about that. And Soul Corps, 745 here, parish downstairs. Uh, prayer and strengthening, beautiful idea, wonderful opportunity, terrific people. Be a part of it. Companions on a journey uh, next Thursday at 1 o'clock. And the topic that they will talk about is hospice care. Uh, things you need to know, things that you will encounter, and um, the, the process of hospice care uh, with those suffering from dementia. Knowledge is power, and knowing what it, to be expected is something that we need to be a part of to engage others in the midst of their tragedy or their experience. So. Companions on a Journey, next Thursday, 1 p.m. here in the church. Uh, hospice care is, is the topic for discussion. We also have a lot of things that are happening at the end of the month with our parish feast day celebration. So the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, we have a surf and turf dinner on Friday with John Angotti uh, doing his wonderful piano playing, storytelling, 
and singing. We also have a clam bake on Saturday the 24th with a jazz trio playing for us while we're eating clams, celebrating our feast day. We also have on Sunday the 25th, our mass outdoors, uh, our parish picnic, hamburgers, hot dogs, funnel cakes, and snow cones, popcorn, all that fun stuff, games for the kids, uh, a giant slide, and there's also some kind of special blessing or something going on. So uh, come celebrate, be a part of the fun, be part of the family, feast day weekend. We need your registration if you're going to participate in the meals uh, Friday and Saturday. We also need volunteers for Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So if you wanna be a part of the action, please come and join us. Uh, lots to do, lots of fun to be had, and we're inviting everyone. September 17th, there's a women's potluck dinner so that we can introduce ourselves to the things that are going to happen starting this fall. We also have That Man Is You getting ready to begin again. Uh, there will be more information starting this weekend, men coming together to experience being and showing uh, the fatherhood of God and how to be men of faith. Our PSR and Hay Group um, beginnings coming up very shortly. So September 11th is a kickoff for Hay Group. We also have Adoration on the 18th. Um, celebrate the gift of Jesus in the Eucharist with some music, uh, prayer time, uh, a little bit of, of a gathering, a talk, and some sharing of faith, the power of the Eucharist. These things are all happening here now. Two things that are, are in the process of being revised and revitalized, couples to couples ministry. To be able to minister to couples that are ready to get married or preparing to get married and celebrating what you have already experienced in your marriage and of faith something to share with these younger couples. And OCIA, which is RCIA, but revised, is the order of uh, Christian initiation of adults. We have three uh, women in our, in our, who are part of our parish who want to become fully initiated Catholics. Um, and if you know of anyone who wants to participate in the initiation of being Catholic, receiving the sacraments, please call the office and let us know. We are beginning the new process of the order of Christian initiation of adults. And it is for anyone who wants to be welcomed in the faith. So if you know someone, have them contact us so they can be a part of this process. So that's 25 with Father. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week, and I will see you in church. May God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What was that? Amen. Amen, Simon. Amen.